WCBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. Let's delve on into the tropical weather update. Yes, the tropical Atlantic waking up after its slumber over the last couple of weeks. Although we've had a couple of storms here, actually it's been relatively busy. Six named storms so far this year. Gonzalo next up on the list and we have Tropical Depression 7. This formed earlier today. It's a very tight system way out here in the middle of the Atlantic. Look how far away it is from anything. But it is expected to perhaps become a tropical storm later tonight or tomorrow morning and then carry westward into the Caribbean Sea by the weekend. We'll keep watching and waiting to see what happens with that. Closer to home, a little bit of disorganized activity here near Cuba. This is a little tropical entity that may or may not do anything as it crosses the Gulf of Mexico. It could develop, but we'll see. Regardless, it will stay to our south. We should not be affected by that, but that could throw just enough moisture up here to enhance some of our scattered shower and thunderstorm activity over the next couple of days. We'll just wait and see about that, but nothing imminent for our immediate area. Our time lapse uh, from Columbus to below Vernon at Durham's Pharmacy and in Louisville, Mississippi this evening. Very nice, a little pop of color there. In the wake of the showers and storms we had around here earlier today, notice how a lot of that going away, just these leftover higher clouds, and that usually is the case. Those will continue to thin out during the night. Some spots in Pickens County may have had over two inches of rain today, other spots as well, and some other locations, not even a drop of rain today. So feast or famine, you may get soaked this time of year. You may see nothing for days. And that pattern will continue. Now, in Macon tomorrow, we start out in the 70s. There could be some fog in the morning, especially if you had rain today. And then by midday, we are already around the low 90s and into the low to maybe mid 90s tomorrow afternoon with a chance for more of those scattered showers and storms for you in Brooksville and Macon, uh, Sugarlock there in southern Knoxville County. There you go for your day Wednesday. And really, that's the same across the board here low to maybe mid 90s. A very warm and sticky day. The heat index around 100, if not a little bit higher than that, before any storm happens to form. So pretty quiet tonight and also in the morning, too. Again, there could be a little bit of fog out there if you're up early. As we get into the late morning and afternoon, notice how those scattered showers and storms will blossom. We don't know where they will be, but once they get going, they could sustain themselves for a couple of hours, and then those will go away tomorrow night. We'll wake up to some fairly benign conditions Thursday morning before more scattered showers and storms on our Thursday. Here's your AccuWeather 70 forecast, a 40% chance of rain tomorrow, then 30% across the board. In general, mid 90s for highs going into the weekend. Not an all weekend washout here, but there will be some storms around. Lows in the 70s, Scott.